Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending December 22nd. And obviously, if you're watching this, the world didn't come to the end on uh, December 21st. The Mayans were wrong. Actually, the Mayans were correct. People were wrong in interpreting it. But there is something coming up that could spell the end of the world, or at least in this case, the end of a major city in the world, and that is asteroid 20. 11 AG5. They said it had about a 1% chance on its trip back around in 2040 to hit the Earth somewhere. Well, they've recalculated the orbits on this, and according to this news article is in CNN.com. I'll post the links down in the description as always. Now that they've recalculated the orbitals, even within the realm of uncertainty, based on all the new calculations, the closest it will possibly get to the Earth on its next trip around will be twice as distant as the moon is from us. That's the closest it could possibly get. It may end up being farther than that. So they plotted enough orbitals, but this is one scenario that's nothing to monkey around with, and I'm glad that somebody's actually keeping track of this, and it's something we could possibly prevent ourselves. This is a small enough one, too. It could have been a probably, if it for some reason was going to hit us, it could have been a good test. We had till 2040 to figure out how to give it a little push off to the side so that it wouldn't end up hitting us. So Eventually, we are going to have to start doing some tests because there's going to be one coming around with our name on it sooner or later, and we do need to take care of this, and we need to put some money into this because it is the one worldwide tragedy that we actually have the power to prevent. The engineering's there. All we have to do is test it. And next up, this is from theblaze.com, and this was sent to me by my buddy Phil Cuca writer. Secret camel can make American soldiers truly invisible. Now, they won't show any video of this, and the pictures they show, they're rather astonishing, but pictures you can set everything up in the best light possible but it still looks pretty good and supposedly no electric no batteries anything it's just a piece of material that bends light they show a lady here holding it in front of her and you can see it bends light around the structures that's behind her looks pretty interesting if it does work out this is a Canadian firm that has worked on this called Hyperstealth Biotechnology Corporation and they're the ones that have worked on this and uh, it looks promising of course, like they said in the article, the one thing you can't, the stealth won't help you with is if you're trying to hide a tank. As soon as you fire it up and start moving, a tank's rather loud, so you're not going to hide a tank for very long, at least from people being able to hear it, even if they can't see it very well. So anyway, maybe in the future we'll get some video on this, but the pictures are very interesting. So that's about it for this week. I'm going to keep it short because it's coming up on the Christmas holidays, and I know a lot of people don't really want to spend their time watching videos that much. And between now and New Year's Day, I'm going to take a break myself, so I will actually be catching you guys in two weeks. Take care. Merry Christmas for those people that celebrate Christmas, and I hope everybody many blessings for the next year.